Hello, my name is Martin Daum. I'm the CEO of Daimler Truck AG and I'm honored to also be this year's chairman of the Commercial Vehicle Board of ASEA, the European Automobile Manufacturers Association. In the next few minutes, I want to share what is important to me in this new role. Let me start by saying that Europe's truck and bus industry is fully committed to the Paris Agreement. My colleagues and I want to make road transport CO2 neutral. But to achieve that, we need more than right, the right vehicle technology. We also need the right infrastructure and cost parity. Our customers must be able to easily charge CO2 neutral trucks and buses, and they must be able to earn money with them. Otherwise, they won't buy them. It's that simple. These three factors, vehicle technology, infrastructure and cost parity, are linked like the factors in a multiplication problem. If just one factor is zero, the total result is zero, no matter how strong the other factors are. Let's look at the first factor, offer the wide vehicle technology. That is our task as OEMs and we are fully committed to do that. Our industry is investing a lot of money in zero emission vehicles. In our view, those vehicles are also the best way to improve air quality further. That's why we expect policymakers to take a pragmatic and feasible approach regarding Euro 7. Let's now look at factor number two, infrastructure. Building the infrastructure for battery and fuel cell vehicles is, first and foremost, the task of energy companies. But this task is so enormous that governments must provide substantial support. Regarding hydrogen infrastructure, I think it's clear that green hydrogen is the only way forward for the long term. Grey hydrogen would not allow us to reach our goal of a CO2 neutral economy. In the first phase, however, maybe until 2030, blue hydrogen could also be an affordable and environmentally sound solution. Finally, factor three, cost parity. Today, CO2 neutral trucks and buses are significantly more expensive than conventional vehicles, so they are not competitive in the market. We as OEMs will not be able to change this for years to come, despite all efforts. That's why policymakers must intervene. They need to introduce a CO2-based toll and to consistently increase CO2 taxes on diesel. So going forward, let's all be aware that we need three factors to make CO2-neutral transport a success and that these factors are interdependent. But this interdependency must not lead to a chicken or the egg problem where OEMs, energy companies and governments wait for the others to do their job first. We must tackle all three factors at once and we must do so now because each factor needs time and we have no time to lose. We are ready to lead this effort and we are inviting all partners and stakeholders to join us in making the transition to CO2 neutral road transport. Thanks for listening and I am looking forward to many discussions on behalf of the European truck industry. ASEA, driving mobility for Europe.